Don't avoid the impossible. Don't avoid the miracle. Welcome back to Inspirational Cafe. I'm your girl, Rochelle. Here is where I uplift, I encourage, and I inspire. Don't forget, hit that like button. Don't forget to share. And come on, come join the cafe where we inspire every single day. Christ will lead us into many situations that may seem impossible. The key difference between what appears impossible to us and what is actually possible is a word from our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, from our master. Faith accepts his divine command and steps out into the direction that only God can complete. Only he can complete it. Remember when Jesus asked his disciples to do which seemed impossible. He says, I want you to take these five loaves of bread and two fish and feed a multitude. I want you to feed 5,000 men and their families. His disciples thought this was absurd. They looked around like, how can we possibly feed a multitude of people? with two small fish and five loaves of bread. This was ridiculous. But Jesus began to pray over the fish and the bread. And he said, go. He said, go. The disciples were astonished because what seemed impossible to them became possible through Christ Jesus. For nothing is impossible. Nothing is impossible through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Remember when Jesus saw the man by the pool of Bethesda, the paralyzed man that was crippled for 38 years. And Jesus said, do you want to be healed? Do you want to be made whole? The man says, sir, I have no one to put me in the pool when the water is stirred. I can't be healed. I can't even make my way to the pool. Every time I try to get in, someone jumps ahead of me. Jesus replied, do you want to be made whole? Do you want to be healed? Jesus said, get up, take up your mat and walk. The man then began to get up. He began to walk. He took up his mat. And he began to walk. He was healed. The man was astonished. Because remember, nothing is impossible. Nothing is impossible. Through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Remember when Jesus was traveling to Jericho. Alongside the road was a blind man, a blind beggar. And he heard that Jesus was coming into town. He asked everyone, what is the noise about? He asked the crowd, what, what is happening? They said, Jesus of Nazareth is coming. And he waited. And when Jesus got near him, he cried out, Father, son of David, have mercy on me. He said, Lord. Son of David, have mercy on me. The crowd began to rebuke him and said, shut up. He don't have time for you with all that noise. But the more they rebuked him, the more he cried, cried out. Father, son of David, Lord, have mercy on me. Jesus said, what is it that you want from me? He says, Lord. I want to see. Jesus said, receive sight. Receive sight. The man received sight. 
He was no longer blind. Because remember, it is impossible with man. But through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, nothing is impossible. Nothing is impossible. I want to encourage you, whatever you're going through, whatever difficulties, whatever problems, whatever you're facing, your difficult circumstances, I want you to trust God and believe what may seem impossible to you is not impossible with your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I want to encourage you to remember that nothing is impossible. Keep trusting and keep believing in your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Because what may seem impossible now, God can shift in the, in the blink of an eye and make it possible. I want to encourage you to trust God that whatever you're going through, God can change. He can shift it within a second for nothing is impossible with your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I am Rochelle. This is Inspirational Cafe. Until next time, be blessed.